Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about important concepts on electromagnetic induction and alternating current and electromagnetic waves. If you prepare these three chapters completely, then you can easily get 19 mark in your second PUC annual exam 2024. Before that, those who are watching my videos first time, do like and subscribe for more updates and do share the videos with your friends. First, I am going through the chapter electromagnetic induction. Here from this chapter, the total teaching hours is 8 hours and allotted marks is 8 mark. Here you are going to get two MCQ questions and one fill in the type fill in the blank type question and one essay type question which carries two mark and another essay type question means short answer type question which carries three mark totally eight mark from this chapter now i am going through the important concepts on this chapter electromagnetic induction here these are the important concepts First one, the experiments of Faraday and Henry. This is a basic concept. From this concept also, you may get questions. Means here three cases are there. First case, coil and magnet. Second case, coil and coil. Third case, coil and another coil which is connected to plug key variable tap key okay these are the three experimental observations observed by faraday and henry out of three cases you may get any one of the case in your exam and second one magnetic flux third one faraday's law of induction this question may ask for two mark there are two laws are there. Next one, lens law. This is also maybe asked for two mark type question. Next one, motional electromotive force. It is also known as motional EMF. This is an important concept in this chapter for three mark type question. Next, inductance. There are mainly two types, mutual inductance and self-inductance. These two are also important concepts in this chapter. And AC generator, AC generator. This is also important concept. You may get questions of three, three mark type question on AC generator and on inductance. These are the main concepts in this chapter. If you prepare completely these concepts, then easily you can get 8 mark from this chapter. And next, I am moving to the another chapter, alternating current. Alternating current. 8 hours, 8 marks. Okay. One MCQ question, one essay type question, which carries 2 mark and one NP numerical problem which carries five mark totally eight mark here one thing you have to remember in this chapter definitely you are going to get one five mark question that to problem type okay total eight marks the important concepts are first one AC voltage applied to a resistor next second one ac voltage applied to an inductor third one ac voltage applied to a capacitor next one ac voltage applied to a series lcr circuit here one common thing you have to remember that here ac voltage is common and which is applied to a different 
quantity first one is resistor second one is inductor third one is capacitor fourth one is series lcr circuit okay. and next one is power in ac circuit the power factor and last one is transformer okay these are the main concepts in this chapter ac okay which carries eight marks next another chapter electromagnetic waves okay this is the smallest chapter which is having 3 hours and 3 marks okay. here you are going to get one mcq question which carries one mark and one essay type question which carries two mark totally three mark from this chapter this is a very simple topic in which you may get the three mark easily the important concepts are first one is displacement current here you may get a definition type questions okay displacement current second one is electromagnetic waves what is meant by electromagnetic waves and what is what are the source of electromagnetic waves and nature of electromagnetic waves third one electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum here the number of radiations or you may call it as waves are there okay first one is radio waves second one is microwaves infrared waves visible rays ultraviolet rays x rays gamma rays totally seven radiations are there here all these radiations or waves having wavelength range and also having frequency range based on frequency and wavelength range the nature or characteristics of the wave depends and each radiations or waves having its own applications in day to day life okay that you have to answer okay here also you may get a question of two two mark type questions okay mainly three concepts are there in this chapter okay thank you